are happening and when things happen, they come to remind us. Chinmo Day for who knows. Here a cat got one of our big, uh, what, I don't know if it's a monitor lizard, but like a, a friendly crocodile, but a friendly crocodile, this kind of thing. And then, you know, I know it's not riots and things which I know are taking place over there, but still we see it's just a miserable world and, you know, birth, death, old age disease is taking place everywhere. And the whole world is a death place. All is coming and going, including our bodies. So this is why we have to be very careful with our lives to use them well. Anyway, San Jose has a long history. And from the beginning, even before the beginning of Guru, of Guru Maharaj's name and fame, or Guru Maharaj being known to the West, but from San Jose, we can say, it was very much the catalyst for the whole world becoming aware of Krishna consciousness under the guidance, under the shelter of Srila Sridhar Maharaj. So we're very happy to welcome Kum, Kum David Asi. And oh, and today, here, here today, oh no, with you today, here yesterday, with Rishabh Dev, who was disappearance day, Kum, Kum's husband's disappearance day. 20 years. 20 years, is it? All right. So first of all, let us, because we've gathered together, let us first give obeisances to each other. We've come into our Zoom room. So first of all, obeisances, one and all. Vancha kalpa turubhyas cha, kripa sindubhya eva cha, patitanam pavanebhyo, vaishnavebhyo, namo namaha. And... And just to let you know that here, as you know, it is night, but it happens to be night, but it will be morning. But we are with a handful of devotees. Um, when there is more than a handful still to arise and join us. But uh, they had a program yesterday evening, um, halfway between the temple and here. And today is Sunday. So it's a day off, right? Even the Lord rested on Sunday. Did he really? According to some books, he did, yes. <laughs> so anyhow, they've come here for a Sunday program and we're going to go up into the mountains nearby uh, for a devotee picnic with Madanga and cartels, no doubt. So that's what's going to happen today. But starting our day, 5 a.m. in your association, happily. And we start our day every day, actually, 5 a.m. And uh, different program, different day. So today, let us, uh, okay, let us first say about Kum Kum and Didi. Oh, here's Bharat Chandipu. Prabhu, very happy that you've joined us because uh, I was just going to say in honor of Kum Kum's being here and in honor of today there in America being Rishabh Dev Prabhu's disappearance day. And uh, then Bharat Chandra Prabhu, for those of you who don't know, he's his son and Mandakini Devidas is the daughter. Any more of the family? Son and daughter and any more? Those are, in that generation, they're the only two. They're the only two. Okay, so Bharat Chandra has joined us. We're very happy for that. And just a couple of words. 20 years ago, disappeared in the disappearance day of Rishab Devavu. And uh, we were like fortunate in the sense of fortunate to witness like Vaishnava pastimes, etc., and Vaishnava dealings between Guru Maharaj and Rishabhdev Prabhu, as well as the devotees and uh, Prabhu and Rishabhdev Prabhu. And we were witness to that actually, um, you know, for a while because uh, Rishabhdev Prabhu, he telephoned to Gurudev uh, when he, the doctors gave him some I think, you know, a short time to live, one month or something. They said, oh, you have one month more in this world. And he telephoned to Gurudev and asked Gurudev's permission. I, that my desire is this, Gurudev. If you will allow it, then I will come to India. My desire is that I will pass away from this world in the holy dham in your presence. And Gurudev, you know, Little, I mean, shocked means, you know, it's not every day that somebody makes such a request, of course. And uh, Gurudev, 
very graciously gave permission. So it's not that Rishabh Deful came to Nabadeep without, you know, without permission, just coming to, you know, to pass away there. And anyhow, uh, by Gurudev's grace, then he sent me to do the service to meet him at the airport when he arrived with Mandakini David Asi. And I was surprised how healthy he looked. He was wearing running shoes. He was much thinner than I'd ever known him, with all due respect to his health previously, as Gurudev would say when he'd see someone a little, as Gurudev would say, fatty, then he'd say, oh, very healthy. He liked a little weight on the devotees. In India, you know, anybody can be thin, but to have a little weight is generally a sign of good health. So anyway, Rishab Devra used to be a little healthy, but he looked even healthier in the sense of he looked like a runner when he came because he had running shoes, he was thin, and he had a sports cap, you know, the American, you know, with the big uh, peak on the front, you know, the fashion in America, maybe a baseball cap or something like that. And so he looked very athletic. And uh, we came to Dum Dum Park. And then we were in Dum Dum Park for a while. Um, and uh, staying right on the veranda, Rishab Dev Prabhu, myself, Guru Maharaj, on the Guru Dev on that one veranda, the original veranda in Dum Dum Park. And uh, then from there, uh, presently, then Rishab Dev Prabhu and Guru Dev agreed it's good he goes to Nabadi. And so um, Gurudev again had me drive him to Nabadeep because Gurudev knows I can drive very gently when I want to. Means, you know, he had spondylitis and so we really drive carefully for Gurudev because every bump in the road would, it would hurt him. So anyway, he knew I can drive carefully. So I drove, I was driving Rishabdev and then about halfway Rishabdev said, Please just go as fast as you can, because whether you go slow or fast, it's painful, you know. And he was very practical, so he, so I just zoom, and then we went off to Navadi like this. And then, anyhow, long story short, because really this is back to back to basics in class. But the, the long story short is that Gurudev then, after a few days, also came to Navadi. And then uh, Gurudev, and very often with myself, we'd go to meet him day by day. And, oh no, first of all, he'll come to Gurudev's veranda, like in the morning and in the afternoon. And then gradually as the, his health like declined, Rishabh Dev, you know, because he was terminally ill, so he knew he was going to pass away. Then gradually when he couldn't come to the veranda, then Gurudev would go to see him day by day and would spend some time and talk and then the last you know, few days, obviously, Rishabh Dev Prabhu was in, in much difficulty, but uh, he's going on. And then for the last few days, Gurudev is just coming once in the day, coming to meet, to see him, but he's essentially more or less, you know, not with us in the world. And we'll come, we'll see him, Guru Dev maybe hold his hand or touch him a little bit like this. And Mandakini Devi Dasi was, by the way, exemplary throughout. And her capacity to communicate with the doctors was very impressive. The doctors who were looking after him. And her dedication, selflessness, her behavior, exemplary. And then on this particular day, this particular day, 20 years ago, myself and Gurudev and one or two others, Maybe one other, two others. No, there were maybe four. we joined maybe others in the room, and we went to the uh, to the shop day for it. lying on lying on his back, and uh, basically unconscious, as you could say. And we went there, but clearly not unconscious. He was sort of very peacefully looking, by the way. He looked peaceful, whereas in previous times, sometimes he's not suffering quite a lot. But then we are there for a while, we are standing, and then we are just leaving. We, we're, we're leaving. We walked and we got to the end of the veranda where Gurudev, where Rashad Dev was staying. And that veranda, we're just about to go down the stairs. And then a devotee came running and said, Gurudev, Gurudev, come, come. Rishabh Dev was going to leave his body. And how he knew, I don't know. But Gurudev kind of paused 
And then Gurudev went back and uh, came to, and we both, and of course, we came to uh, Rishabhdev Prabhu. And his passing away was like so peaceful. He was there, Gurudev standing behind him, the devotees chanting, but not Madangaran cartels, but like the soft chanting of the Maha Mantra. And oh, Gurudev sent Budev, the Pujari, to the temple to get um, the Bhagavad Gita and Charanamrita. Mm -hmm. And then while Rishabhdev is lying there, Gurudev, he said, to put Rishabhdev Prabhu's Japa Mala on his chest and the Bhagavad Gita and Bhagavad Gita and Japa Mala on his chest and in his mouth, which was a little open, then he told to put some drops of Charanamrita and still he's breathing very like slowly, breath and then another breath. And then he passed away in the presence of Gurudev in a very peaceful and sweet way. And what I can say is that Gurudev after this was quite, I mean, he really, he was astonished. Mm -hmm. And he said, this shows we can, we do not know who we are with. That Rishabhdev, Krishna fulfilled his desire. He had this desire. And we saw his passing away from this world. It was very like exemplary. And even after that, Rishabhdev wanted a natural like Indian style uh, cremation, etc. And uh, it was uh, uh, it was daytime, everything in the day. And as Gurudev said later, a charge march can do anything. And he, he said, I told a charge march, you arrange for a flat back, flat back truck, you know, the, the small trucks with the flat back. So we'd make a, a, a cot, uh, uh, like a bed for Rishabhdev and take him to the burning gap with, with you know, Sankitan, but on the back of the truck. But a charge march, who can do anything? I mean, really has so much capacity, but he could not arrange by hook or by crook a, a van. And so it ended up that from the bamboo behind Gurudev ordered uh, to cut some bamboo and they made the stretcher with the bamboo poles and then covered him, garlanded him, and in this way, he went to the burning gap, just like we see so many people going to the gap with Bolo Hari, Bolo Hari, like doing the Bolo, not Hari Bol so much, but Bolo Hari, and then the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra with the devotees going to the gap. So it was all actually a, a glorious passing away, you can say. So anyway, we have Kumkum Devidasi with us, and we've got Bharat Chandrabhu somewhere on my screen. He's sitting like a yogi, very still, no movement. Oh, now he's moving. He's broken from his yogi trance. And uh, we do remember Mandakini, of course, very, very much. And uh, we hope she's doing well. We haven't seen her for a long time. But she's a very good-hearted, caring daughter. What, what better daughter could somebody have than Mandakini in those last days? Mm -hmm. All right, so that's a, something a little bit topical. Topical means of the current topics. And now let us come on to our back to back to basics. First of all, ah, we've got dev I have devotees in front of me as well as devotees here. Now, can, can you put up your hand if you have learned and can say the Chato Shloki of Bhagavad Gita. It was our homework. Oh, Chinmoy Dave, you're shaking your head. I can do one. I've learned one. Okay, that's better than none. And Billy's smiling. Oh, but he's also shaking his head. I, I don't think I'll ask you for the Prabhu. Dandavat Maharaj from Sundari. Dandavat Parents to all devotees. Dandavat, Dandavat. And would you like to tell us the the Chattu Shloki of Bhagavad Gita? No. Okay, but Rukmini did he would like to? I saw a little in interest. Yes. All right. So, do you do we have it in front of us? Maybe you can post it again just in the chat box. 
Mm, Praneshwari Jayanita, is Praneshwari here with us? Oh, you are there. Yes, yes, you're there. Sorry, Praneshwari Devi. Jayanita Maharaj, I, I didn't learn it. I didn't. Okay. We need an extension on our homework, Maharaj. <laughs> okay. Okay. I tell you what, have an extension on your homework. I think this is looking like a good idea. But we have two devotees here. What happened to Muktinath Prabhu? Anyway, I think we have two devotees here who do know it because I've been giving them a little reminder that we're going to be having our back to back to basic class. Have you done your homework? So, Ananda Leela David Asi, can you say? Okay, say loudly. Okay. Aham Sarvatya Prabhava Mata Sarvam Pravartate Ikimatva Bajantiman Vithab Hava Saman Vitam. Okay, it's a little quiet for everyone to hear. So the first one Aham Sarvasya Prabhavo Mata Savan Pravatite Iti Matva Bajantimam Buddha Baba Samanvitaha. So it's in the chat box. Let us say it together, even though the microphones are muted, and probably if they're not, we'll get feedback and everything. So, but let's say it together. Just down, go to the chat box, and you'll see there that Govinda Nandini's put the Chato Sloki. So we can just go through them all one, two, three, four, and then again one, two, three, four. Just as revision and Repetition does help it to go automatically inside our brain. And also with the devotees here, you all have it, right? They've got it, yeah, they've got it on the mobile phones. All right, so let us first of all give our respect to Bhagavad Gita, Jai Srimad Bhagavad Gita Ki Jai, Bhagavan Shri, Bhagavan Shri Krishna Ki Jai indeed, Bhagavad Gita. And Jai Shila Veda Vyas Ki Jai, Gurudev Ki Jai, Shila Guru Maharaj Ki Jai. All right. So you're allowed to read, not do by memory. And now we can go through Chattu Sloki. Or oh, Jonti just joined us. If you see the chat box, Jonti, there's the, got the Chattu Sloki. Just download it. We're going to say the verses. These are verses 8, 9, 10, 11 of chapter 10 of Bhagavad Gita. We're just going to say them together. We go through once and go through once again. Okay. So, um, where are we? Three, two, one. Aham sarvasya prabhavo mata sarvan pravatate iti matva bhajante man buddha bhava saman vitam Machchita Madgata Prana Bodayanta Parasparam Katayanta Shcha Mangnityam Tushyanti Cha Ramanti Cha Tesham Satata Yuktanam Bajatam Priti Purvakam Dadami Buddhi Yogantam Yenamam opayanti te Tesham evanu kampartam Aham agyana jantamaha Nashayam yatma bhavashto Jnana deepena bashpata All right, so one more time as we did just now together. Aham sarvasya prabhavo mata sarvam pravatate iti matva bhajante man buddha bhava samandita machchita madgata prana bodayanta parasparam katayantascha magnityam Tushyanti cha ramanti cha Tesham satata yuktanam Bajatam priti purvakam Dadami buddhi yogantam Yena mamupayanti te 
ಅಹಮಜ್ಞಾನಾಶಾತ್ಮಷ್ಟೋ ಜ್ಞಾನದೀಪೇನ ಬಾಷ್ಪತ just once i know that this is the revision part but let us once hare krishna welcome uh go through the translation so the translation do we have handy govinda nandini so we get the right translate the translation from shila govinda Mah- shila shira maharaj's book uh shloki chatush loki only but then we must have the translation i didn't have this exactly ready because i posted it mars you posted it. oh okay great 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 because i thought we'd cover this but it now we're doing a little um revision which is good revision no problem we need to so chatto shloki so just not to spend i suppose too long but verse 8 chapter 10 so verse 8 aham sarvasya prabhavo i am krishna the sweet absolute the origin of all the entire universe of material and transcendental play activity purpose and the vedas and allied scriptures which give guidance all evolve from me alone realizing this hidden treasure persons of fine theistic intelligence surpass the mundane and embrace the path of love divine raga marga and adore me forever then machita magata prana always thinking of me those surrendered souls converse about me enlightening one another with the nectar of their devotional realizations ever content and ecstatic in their divine natures association next verse tesham satata yuktanam to those devotees who are always lovingly engaged in my service i give the divine inspiration by which they can come to me and then tesham evanu kampatam the last verse out of compassion for them i situated within the hearts of all living beings dispel the darkness of ignorance with the radiance of knowledge or being conquered by the love of those devotees who in their unalloyed loving devotion become afflicted by the all devouring darkness born of their pangs of separation from me i illuminate their hearts with my presence destroying the darkness of their pain of separation all right so it is very good to go through this four seed verses of the gita this is our last times homework as it were or you know project but repetition is very good and we can also make it during our week how we do some regular morning um vandana we can include those chatur shlokis for this week so that we become you know used to repeating them my suggestion at least all right let us move on today along the theme of we're not learning new verses mostly i think maybe all of you know easily and off by heart namo mahavadanya ya krishna prema pradayate krishnaya krishna chaitanya namne gora tvije namaha so i think that uh, it's not a question of learning the verse and i think jonti do you know that verse namo mahavaranyaya krishna prema prarayate i yes yes thank you maharaj you do okay super so we all know that verse so now we want to give attention to the word by word of that so that we don't repeat it just as repetition which is so easy to do but we can be conscious as we have done with vanchakalpa trubhya star 
And we want to also be conscious with this, which is like the mantra to uh, Gauranga Mahaprabhu. So we have, by the grace of Chinmoy Dev, at the top of the chat box here, then we do have the verse, Namo Maha Vadanyaya Krishna Prema Pradayate Krishnaya Krishna Chaitanya Namne Gora Tvije Namaha. And then you see in the chat box just below there, you see this is really, it's a simple verse, but we know we have to try to be substantial with what we are doing. So it's not just to have a simple verse, it's simple to learn, but the words so we can remember the words and feel what we're, what we're saying. So, Namo, the very beginning of Prapana Jivan Amritam, Namaha, means without ego, ego, no ego, with no ego, it's our, our respect. I offer my obeisances, Namo, Maha Vadanyaya, Vadanyaya, merciful, Does, is it? Yes. Oh, unto the merciful. Okay, so Vadanyaya, unto the merciful. But Namo Maha Vadanyaya. We have a Maha mantra. You don't know this word Maha always coming. But ma greatest generous, greatest merciful. Namo Maha Vadanyaya. Krishna Prema. We all have heard about Krishna Prema. And we referenced two or three times ago maybe about how in revealed truth Srila Gurudev really gives us a, like a very clear description of what is Krishna Prema. There is karma, desire, lust and desire, desire for ourselves. This is this world and it brings suffering. But when dedication, bhakti, devotion and that becomes loving devotion but any devotion to the Lord then the bhakti produces not reaction as is exploitation and desire of this world, but bhakti produces joy and happiness. So Krishna Prema is the topmost position of love of Godhead. Prema is also not a small thing, it's such a big thing. It's not just joy, it's so much more. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Krishna Prema, Pradaya te, Pradaya, he can give to you. See what they've got as a thing. Pradaya, bestow unto you. Pra ah. I'm sitting beside many bees. The tree, the tree beside me is now humming. See if you can hear it hum. It's humming, it's a humming tree because it's become in the last 20 minutes full of bees. Uh, it's a tree that has hanging flowers and it really is fragrant. I'm really sitting in a fragrant place here. I'll share the fragrance with you. And when I was first mother this tree, really I thought it was cows. I thought, where are the cows? It's a very auspicious smelling tree, but it's become alive and there are various living entities around me. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> Distracted from our Krishna Prema Pradayate. He is able to give you Krishna Prema. Krishna Prema Pradayate. He is able to give to you. So, Namo Maha Vadanyaya. My obeisance is to the most generous. For Krishna Prema, Krishna Prema, Pradaya Te. He can distribute, he can give Krishna Prema. Namo Maha Vadanyaya, Krishna Prema Pradaya Te. Krishnaya, Krishna Chaitanya. So Krishnaya, he's non-different from Krishna, and Krishna Chait Krishnaya, Krishna Chaitanya, Namne. His name, Nam, is Krishna Chaitanya. 
So we are giving our obeisances to who? To who is non-different from Krishna, but his name is Krishna Chaitanya. So uh, Krishnaya, Krishna Chaitanya. Oh, what a, am I losing it here? Yes, Krishnaya, Krishna Chaitanyaya, Namne, Namne, unto you whose name is known that, Gora Tvije Namaha. Oh yeah, Gora Tvije. The Bengalis see the Westerners as a little bit like Gora Tvije, fair colored, but Gora of course is not fair complexion, Gora is golden complexion. So, Gora Tvije, he, he of golden complexion, Namaha. And Chinmadev, did you put the like official translation in the bottom of there? And some offense. Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll do that. If you can put that there. And the other verse that we learned, did we learn? I have to check. Yes. Did we learn our. Kale dosha nide rajang? No. Okay, that's for another that's for another back to back to basics class. We're in Kali Yuga. So wonderful quality. We have the holy name. By the holy name we will get everything. So when Kali Yuga things happen, we say, Great, we're in Kali Yuga. All right. So Chinmay Dev Prabhu has put the translation in the chat box, the official translation. I perpetually achha, offer my obeisances unto you, Sri Krishna Chaitanya, the supremely merciful golden form of Sri Krishna, the giver of Krishna Prema. Uh -huh. All right. We can also say, we can also say, as Goswami Maharaj repeatedly says, every translation is interpretation. So it's colloquial. This is clearly colloquial translation. Let me just copy that. By the way, a mention to all of you means I'm reminding myself and reminding you too that when the Zoom closes, then anything that's in the chat box is lost. So you need to do more or less what I'm doing now, which is copy and pasting and then keeping keeping this as a separate file. All right. But still, that's the translation given, you say, an official translation. But let us again go through. Let us say this Namo Mahavaranyaya um, sloka. And now, if I remember rightly, okay, I can now share my screen. I think I can share my screen. Share screen. Share screen. Share screen. Okay. Okay, so can you see that on the screen? So we now have got it in one place. Let us read the verse together twice and then uh, let us read the verse very slowly together once, okay? Try to follow each of the meaning, and then we'll say it again twice, a little more regular speed, but with all of us conscious of each word's meaning. All right, so we'll go through slowly and catch the meaning from the translation, which basically, without even seeing the word by word, we can think, we already have an idea. Namo Mahavadanyaya, greatest merciful. Krishna Prema Pradaya Te. Krishna Prema Pradaya can give Te to you all. Krishnaya Krishna Chaitanya Namne Gauratvije Namaha. So, slowly. Namo Mahavadanyaya. Krishna Prema Pradaya Te. Krishnaya Krishna Chaitanya Namne Gora Trije Namaha. Okay, now, so now twice. While thinking of the meaning and slowly. Namo 
Mahavadanyaya Krishna Prema Pradayate Krishnaya Krishna Chaitanya Namne Gora Trije Namaha Namo Mahavadanyaya Krishna Prema Pradayate Krishnaya Krishna Chaitanya Namne Gora Trije Namaha I offer my obeisances unto the merciful, unto the most, most supremely merciful, okay? Krishna, Prema, who can give, bestower unto you of Krishna Prema. Krishnaya, unto the dear most beloved of the gopis. Acha. I always understood this as Krishnaya as being he is Krishna himself, but Krishna, Chait Krishna Chaitanya, being his na namne, being his non different than Krishna, but his Krishna Chaitanya is his name, Gauratvije Namaha, golden complexion Namaha. What does it say here? Gold, uh, golden Twije unto you who bear an effulgence. Acha? Good. Namaha. Anyway, we're not being pandits, but we're trying to catch the mood. And you're all welcome to search for these other understandings of these words. But how we've always known it was uh, as we've described today. All right. So this is little addition to our homework, I suppose, except you already know this verse. You're not relearning a verse. You are uh, simply... Uh, attaching its meaning if you like as we say so we mean what we say now some light has come so naturally i've become a little bit in the dark right so if i turn this okay that should be a little bit better because dawn has come I don't know what time is the official dawn. Normally we have our morning program uh, starting at five, but we are happily having the program with you and the assembled Vaishnavas today with our back to back to basics here. And then we are joined. Oh, down the back. Ah, so happy to see you. Thank you very much. We're being joined by more. Formerly sleeping souls who are now waking up. Sulakshana of China. She's come all the way of China, from China to visit you in Washington, Virginia, uh, California, Colombia, no, Miami, <laughs> and New yes, Zealand. Huh? Prima Yes, Colombia and Miami too, Maharaj. Columbia, Columbia and Miami and New Zealand in a place which we, we should make world famous because it's a, it's a beautiful sounding name. And when I, I only know this name from the devotees living there, being there, the com beautiful community of devotees, Fangarai, Fangarai. Where do you live? I live in Fangarai. Fangarai in Northern New Zealand. John T is from there. And, uh, very happily they're joining us and Rupa Nuga Prabhu representing Yukai, Australia. All right. So we're on Zoom. We are together. So any question from any quarter about anything but the, the Namo Mahavaranyaya or about the Chato Sloki or something along our theme of what we're doing or anything actually. I have a request of Chinmoy Dei Prabhu. Can you connect with Jonti? So Jonti, you can, uh, I can give him your, can I give uh, Chinmoy Dei your email address? And, or you can put, anyhow, you connect together through the chat if you like, however. And my request, Chinmoy Dei Prabhu, you can send some links for videos of Gurudev with the, um, with the caption. I think you've got some posted on the web somewhere because 
Jaunty is hearing Gurudev's talks, but as we all find probably at the beginning, finding a little difficulty to understand his intonation. And so those videos will be very helpful. So maybe you two can uh, share information and then uh, you, I think it'll be helpful, Jonti, for you to see the video with the running captions underneath. And then you'll be able to get an idea. Oh, Gurudev is speaking like this. Uh, uh, thank you, Maharaj. That, that'd be really good. Thank, thank, thank you, Prabhu. And you had a question? I saw you raise your hand just before I mentioned that. Jonti? Oh, yeah, um, uh, I just want to ask. Oh, yes, so, sorry, Maharaj. Um, oh, okay, oh, um, sorry. The, our, our internet seems it's a little unstable, so um, it fluctuates sometimes. Um, oh, I, I was just gonna, wanting to ask, please, if, if I may, um, around you, the, the uh, Chasso Slokas, um, how. Guru Maharaj, how he's in his translation, he's put, um, for, I think it was for um, the, the uh, 10 11, um, how he put another, he, he had the translation, then he had or. Is, is that, is Guru Maharaj going deeper into that verse or is it, is it an, like an alternative translation? If, it's the verses are living. And so the verse can mean this and can mean that. So it's not that it is limited or that necessarily one is deeper than another. We can say that perhaps the second is like the original, I mean, or, or means original in the sense of like new light is coming from that verse given through Srila Guru Maharaj, Srila Sridhar Maharaj. But uh, we can think that these verses, every aspect of the verse, it is, uh, it's the Krishna speaking, so every aspect of the verse is also full. And I would not like to be the one who would like, put a judgment, or one is like this, one is like this, because there are different ways of seeing the same gem. So in these higher dealings, we'll be very cautious to think about, oh, it is a deeper understanding. But we could say from our... Um, perspective because it's coming from, from Guru Maharaj in particular and because it's some revelation, some new way to see the verse, we can think, oh, this is at least doing something deeper in my heart. But if we'd been accustomed to the second translation and then we'd uh, come to the first translation, we may think, oh, this first translation is contributing something to our heart as well. So we'll take everything as full. In the ocean of nectar, one drop is also full. So we'll consider each aspect of the slokas to be full. And by the way, we've simply learned these slokas and the accompanying translations which are there. But for each of these four slokas, if I'm not mistaken, then there is an extensive commentary purport by Srila Sri Ramar. So please don't neglect that and don't neglect Srila uh, Prabhupada, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada's Bhagavad Gita as it is. These are all contributing to our understanding of what Krishna is telling us. And after all, it is Krishna telling us. He himself, who has made us, he's giving us the user manual. He made us and he's given us the user manual of how to use us, <laughs> how to use ourselves properly. <laughs> so this is Bhagavad Gita. And really, when Gurudev, with much heart saying, I've been reading Bhagavad Gita all my life. And you can think for Gurudev, all his life, he'll have been hearing it from the age of uh, minus nine months onwards. You know, all his life, he will have been hearing Bhagavad Gita, but he is referring to like, since boy, he's been, since being a boy, he's reading Bhagavad Gita. But really, I say, he's saying it with heart when he's saying, 
I am re still reading Gita. Every time I read Gita, some new light is coming. So this is Gurudev who, who knows, you can say knows everything, but knowing everything, new light is coming. When we hold a gem, when we hold any aspect of Krishna's revelation to the world, then we can say so many things are there. Again and again in Chaitanya Charitamrita, Krishna's Kaviraj is saying, Ananta Shesh, with his thousands of mouths, he cannot finish the description of the glories of one pastime, one leela of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So, we are connected with something very wonderful. When we wake up, then we'll understand that simultaneously everything is the perfect, perfectest, deepest. But at the moment, we are kind of hearing something about the uh, an outside world, outside of our cave. We're getting some news of that world. So we have to try to uh, follow the advices from the news, that news source. Let that come to our ear. So gradually or quickly, but by the Lord's will, then one day we are confident and know that we will be taken care of by him. As Guru Maharaj, as Gurudev said, that our connection, this is our, our connection with Guru Maharaj. This is Gurudev, Srila Govinda Maharaj's like, clear vision. Our connection with Guru Maharaj is guaranteeing our success. But how soon that is in our hand to some degree. And of course, with one proviso, as Mahaprabhu and all the Vaishnavas have made a big caution, avoid Vaishnava Aparad. We must always think, think, not only say and do, but think in a positive way about the devotees. Hare Krishna and devotees come in all, not only shapes and sizes, in all moods and natures. <laughs> so, Mm. We have to learn to live with others. This is something that Guru Maharaj, uh, that Guru Maharaj is explaining to. We have to learn with, to live with others in this plane. Otherwise, how can we be given entrance to you know, the plane where also full of nature, personality, different natures. But if we're there with a criticizing mood or an envious mood or any other of these negative moods, then we, we're not going to be given a visa. Any other question? Any question? And Govinda Nandini Didi, I sent you a little message there. And by the way, today is with you is Rishabh Dev Prabhu's uh, disappearance day. And I mean, really, we're very happy. We've got Kum Kum and Bharat Chandra Prabhu uh, uh, with us because they are the direct family. They can say so much about Rishabh Dev Prabhu, Rishabh Dev Prabhu, and I'm sure they will in their communities. Uh, but I can say one of his many qualities in his earlier years coming to the mat he was extremely focused on getting as much association with Gurudev as possible, like being with Gurudev. And at, at that, at one of the times when he was there, our office was Gurudev's quarters upstairs, that uh, his veranda was the end left-hand corner when you go into the Acharya Bhavan, his uh, Bhajan Kutir, where now is his darshan area was his bedroom, but if you go straight, that left corner was Gurudev's darshan area. And on the right, there is a small room, and that room was the office, which did mean we had to cross past Gurudev to get to the office. But Rashabdev Prabhu, he would be in there at every spare moment duplicating the tapes of Guru Maharaj and duplicating whatever tapes we had of Gurudev. 
and he was very keen to have like a backup, a whole backup of the tapes of Guru Maharaj. He was so um, like focused on this and he'd be there day in, day out. I mean, literally using all his time very nicely there in the Dham. And one of those who greatly appreciate the miracle of being able to hear Guru Maharaj even after his disappearance. So we have really so much of Guru Maharaj, so much of Gurudev, so much of Srila Prabhupada after their disappearance in recorded form, mystically almost, that we can uh, hear. So Rishabh Dev Prabhu reminding us of these treasures, not to take anything for granted which is favorable for us. Mahaprabhu's grace. This is also Mahaprabhu's technology. Maha, Maha. As, we, as we used to say, Mahaprabhu allowed this. Let us use it in his service. So let us not take them for granted. Yes, somebody asking? One thing I would like to relate. Can you hear me? I can, but who's me? I'm... It's, it's Kum Kum. Oh, Kum Kum Didi. Sorry, Kum Kum. Right. My screen, I have to see, and it's now getting lighter, so the screen looks darker. Sorry, Kum Kum Didi, please. Well, in near the beginning of his um, service to Srila Prabhupada, um, he had been, um, it was like 1970, 71, and he had been given the um, service to earn money to support the entire temple. There was no other income. And to do this, he had to go out and sell incense. And so that meant that he was secluded for about six weeks at a time. He had a van, a whole lot of incense, and no association except for a tape, an audio cassette which was a reading of a question and an answer from um, Achyutanandan, Prabhupada's disciple, to Srila Guru Maharaj. And so naturally he um, memorized it word for word because that was all his association, all of those, all that driving by himself for weeks at a time. And uh, he, um, took this to heart and it it starts off with on a rooftop in Nabadweep I asked a question of an old Swami and it didn't mention the name of the Swami but to my husband this became his guru he knew this was guru because of the question and answer was so high and so um, probably 15 years after the conversation took place he did get the great fortune of going to Navajrip Dam and for the first time in getting the uh, darshan of Srila Guru Maharaj. And one afternoon, sitting on the rooftop, everything was rather quiet. He was with Guru Maharaj and he reflected and those words came back to him and he asked Guru Maharaj, who said, yes, I was, um, and he repeated pretty much verbatim what the question had been and how he had answered it. that became an article which is known as descent of the holy name but when so it taught my husband that early that guru is internal so he did not even know his name he wasn't able to do any direct service for him or give him any donation or anything but in his heart he knew that was guru and so 15 years later when he actually found himself there, sitting at his lotus feet, he tears shot out of his eyes because that was that was the fulfillment of his life. So Hare. that's why he always wanted to do that service, and then to Shiloh Gurudev. He knew the value. Just see, that's a wonderful story. Not story, wonderful pastime of the Vaishnava, and. This is something we also stress. We can hear these tapes again and again. We can read the articles, the books, the transcripts again and again. Yes. They're ever nourishing. Mm -hmm. So on this point, 
Until we meet again. Oh, by the way, Praneshri Devidas is kindly put in the chat box uh, on the right side. She's put uh, an excerpt from the soundtrack of the Vimeo video of Srila, of uh, Shripad Rishabdev who's speaking a few weeks before his passing away in 2000. And that uh, video is linked off scsmat.com also and probably from other places but it's linked on the page when you open up, it says from today in previous years. And yes, very wonderful. All right. So please continue happily. And to everybody there, Rukmini Didi, Ridoy Krishna Prabhu, Ananda Sundari, everybody with all names, Praneshwari, Quietly and Billy been very quiet today. We didn't give you an opportunity. Would you like to say something to us from Virginia? Oh, Raj, I just want to thank everyone for the association. And it's a nectar to me and, and my soul to be with all the devotees here and, and to receive the knowledge and instruction from all these great devotees today. Thank you. Okay, Billy, we appreciate you being here. Actually, the real value of these Zoom programs, okay, back to back to basics, but association. We want to be with devotees. So here, it's my time to be with our devotees who are in three-dimensional forms. <laughs> this is our 3D devotees. More a gathering. And we're going to actually do our program over here. This is where you saw last time, Up, upstairs there is where we're doing the program just now. It's a Thai rice hut. Now it is a Thai uh, bhajan, no bhajan, uh, kirtan hall, you can say, Nat Mandir. Well, Nat Mandir means dancing. I'm not sure we're going to dance, but we're going to do bhajan and reading. And the other, there's a larger platform, but it's behind this tree. And that's when more devotees in different times, we're doing programs there. there, there we can have a large gathering. And here we've got our family gathering. And today, while you are all going to take rest, right? No, what time is it there? No, anyway, whatever you're going to do in the next few hours, <laughs> we're off to the mountains with a group of devotees, Madranga, cartels, picnic, and some of them are Russians. You can't keep Russians out of the water. And we've got a place up there with the mountain river coming down and the Russians are gonna be in the water. There are some water holes and everything. And some of us are going by bicycle and some, the rest are going by car. These inventions of motor cars, whatever next. All right, so please copy and paste the things you need to um, before the Zoom is closed. And I also have done like that. And let us try to repeat the, the at least be familiar with the Chatur Shloki. And then this week, Namo Mahavadanyaya, Krishna Prema Pradayate, Krishna, Krishna Kaitanya Namane, Gora Tvijena Maha. Let us do our part to try to uh, put these things in our hearts. And to you all, sincere obeisances, sincere appreciation, and may Gurudev, Guru Mahar, Srila Prabhupada, Srila Sarasati Thakur, Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur, all our hidden guard, guardians, shower their mercy on you. Jai Srila Bhakti Ranjan Marasur Maharaj Ki. Jai. Jai Srila Bhakti Rokha Krida Dev Goswami Maharaj Ki. Jai Srila Esi Bhakti Ranjan Prabhupada Ki. Jai. Bhagavan Shri Siddhanta Sarasati Thakur Ki. Jai. All the assembled devotees Ki. Jai. Ananta Koti Vaishnav Ki. Jai. Shri Chaitanya Saraswat Math of Guru Maharaj and Guru Dev Ki Jai and Shri yeah. Chaitanya Saraswat Archaja Vrinda Ki Jai oh. Nitai Gaur Pemnandi Hari 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 I'll leave so you can be together any questions amongst each other and Jonti Chinmoy Dev please connect if you need some information send me an email or a Skype and I'll send each other's information Jai Dandabai.